sympathy. I think we're seeing it so much today. When we're together, yet apart, whatever side of the political ballpark, we're all wishing the virus would leave us so we can once more smother our loved ones in a hug, would be free to be within a meter, sympathy. It's everyone seeing a sea of masks, concealing any inkling of emotion. It's everyone sailing an ocean of isolated beings, avoiding social commotion. It's a world that has changed, chained to this brand new norm, sympathy. It's what we feel after weathering the same storm. A sense of community, despairing at herd immunity, seeming to self-evaluate all humans as cattle, sympathy. The shared battle within as news rattles with a heavy, growing statistics, no slowing logistics, the practical complicated implications of the duration spent inside. We're on the same side, but don't sit on my side. <laughs> One bubble, two meters, Three phrases, always to save lives. Four months with so much gone as we tried to hide. Five more of the same, that's what they're saying on TV. Six people only, all we are all experiencing. This surely is sympathy. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, noun, sympathy. The feeling of pity and sorrow for someone else's misfortune. Yes, that's what I feel, more attuned to the aching of the world than before. But sympathy is not limited to tragedy at someone else's front door. The second definition, according to the Oxford English Dictionary, noun, sympathy. Understanding between people, or common feeling, knowing it's real, that's the sympathy with which I'm dealing. It's not just simply sorry or worry for the occasions that have been banned. It's the joint pain, the joint tears, the joint weariness. It's to understand. So according to scripture, that is God-inspired words. We have a savior who does not merely feel bad for our hurt, but stands under it too, understands, who's felt the weakness through his own bleeding hands. In all of this, I have a God who holds firm with me. We have a God who with us feels sympathy.